This year, South Korea and Italy celebrate 140 years of diplomatic ties. Also, the years 2024 and 2025 have been designated as a special period of cultural exchange between the two countries. That is why various cultural events between South Korea and Italy are taking place. Now, we will talk to a young Italian director who took part in one of those exchanges, a film production to be exact, that deals with Korean culture. We are now connected to film director and screenwriter Nicole Turi in Rome. Hello, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Hi, morning. So, Nicole, it's been exactly a month since Tong Game premiered in Rome. You participated in that series of movies. So, how did you feel producing it and having it released? Uh, uh, it was an extremely rewarding experience. It's always gratifying to see your work on the big screen, but in this case, the experience was different. Each episode of the series has a different director. Uh, the other director, uh, Deborah Francesca, Francesco, Samuel and I, worked collabor collaboratively uh, to ensure everything was perfect. The teamwork and intense production made watching the series on the big screen a truly unique experience. Hmm. So how did you in the first place get involved in this project? Uh, uh, we participated in a creative competition in our university, uh, Centro Sperimentale di Cinematografia, and everyone presented ideas and projects for the series, and the concept written by me and my two friends, Francesca Marra and Giovanni Matteucci, won. Uh, afterwards, there was another creative competition for uh, directing, and I was chosen uh, to direct the fifth and uh, final episode of the series. Mm, wow. I see. So I did hear that uh, this Tongke movie is a five-part series. Please tell us about your part that you participated in. Uh, yes, um, as I mentioned earlier, I've been uh, involved from the very beginning, from the concept to the series outline. And uh, the writers group studied and analyzed the Korean culture in detail and it, it became a part of us. Uh, we fell in love with it and studied and uh, experimented as much as possible. Hmm. So, um, as far as we understand, the five series contain five different themes like K-pop, Taekwondo, the Korean language, Hanbok, of course, being the Korean traditional attire, and last but not least, soju, wow. <laughs> which is an alcoholic beverage, of course, famous in Korea. So, these truly are very Korean features. And how were these themes actually picked? I mean, you actually produced the soju part, but we would be very curious about how these themes were actually chosen. Uh, yes, um, the, the first step was online research where we studied the uh, traditional element of Korean culture and uh, after we consulted the Korean Cultural Institute and uh, which provided us with uh, more detail or um, uh, information and confirmed uh, what we had found online. For example, the five symbolic color, white, black, red, blue and yellow music and so on and so do. Um, so this. <laughs> wow. Uh, is there any, you know, a part of Korean culture that you experienced for the first time while making this film? Yes, the soju ceremony, uh, oh. which is center, central of uh, my episode, uh, was something I discovered during the uh, writing phase. And uh, it was very interesting uh, to learn about it and bring it to life on screen. <laughs> I see. Uh, and also, Nicole, what parts of Korean culture are well known to Italians? And also, how is Korea's image perceived in Italy? Um, probably the most well known are uh, K-pop and Taekwondo. Uh, taekwondo is very popular and well appreciated in Italy. And uh, Korean culture in general, in my opinion, is highly appreciated in Italy. Uh, in recent years, Korean cinema has also uh, gained increasing popularity and is regarded as highly uh, valuable. Mm. 
I think K-pop, we hear often that K-pop is famous all around the world, but Taekwondo, I haven't really thought about that, that mm -hmm. Taekwondo is so popular in Italy. In Italy, right? I know. That's great to hear. And now, Nicole, I assume you do watch uh, Korean movies. Do you have any favorite Korean movie or even favorite Korean director, movie director? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, some of my favorite film um, include the Parasite, naturally, mm. All the Boy and Past Lives. I still need to watch the season to leave, but I'm sure I love it. Oh, that are very interesting. And now if you do get the chance to, you know, work in Korea or make a film in Korea, who would you like to work with? Um, uh, if we're talking about director and creators, I'd love to collaborate with Bong Joon-hee. Oh, oh, of course. And speaking of uh, Bong Joon-ho, actually, last year, South Korean director Bong Joon-ho participated at a master class event in Florence, uh, where he mentioned that he studied movies, uh, a lot of Italian films. So that really demonstrates that Italy has a very developed uh, film industry. Now, um, how do you think Korean and Italian films are similar and maybe also different? Um, in my opinion, a common element between Italian and Korean cinema is the focus on so social themes. But cinema uh, intensely address social inequalities and class divide. A different, uh, however, might lie in the portrait of uh, violence. In Korean cinema, it is often explicit. Uh, for example, Old Boy or Pal Parasite. Um, while in Italian cinema, it tends to be more symbolic and less visible. Uh, logically, each film is different from the others, but in general, there, mm, these are the similarity and difference I notice. Mm -hmm. In the end, they're all, all you know, movies, cinema, right. so definitely similarities. And I think uh, mm -hmm. the reason for why uh, we have these similarities and differences is uh, why countries, but why there are so much uh, interest in mm -hmm. other countries' movies, because. Mm -hmm. In some way, you see the similarities, and then there are so many differences, right? right? That's right. And the year of culture exchange between Korea and Italy continues throughout the year of 2025 as well, next year. Uh, do you have any plans to, you know, participate in sort of this kind of, you know, similar activities that you could play a role in connecting these two countries, Korea and Italy? Uh, yes, absolutely. I don't know yet which events I'll participate in, but I'll try to stay informed to understand the scheduled events and take part in 2025. All right, well, something tells me next year will be a vibrant year mm -hmm. in terms of South Korea-Italy relations and cultural exchanges when we will be celebrating the 141th uh, first, first anniversary yeah. between the two countries. So uh, thank you very much, Nicole, for your insights today and also, of course, your deep interest in Korean culture. We look forward to your future productions. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity and see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Bella, as always, for your mm -hmm. contribution to the show. And we will see you back uh, next week. Yes, you're very welcome. And I'll see you back next week. All right.